Romero Brito is a very famous Brazilian artist known for his vibrant, bold, colorful art. Romero Brito says that art is what got him through his sad times. He would focus on bright colors and the positive parts of his life, and he wanted to create images that would make people happy. Like Cubist artists, Romero Brito thought that artists shouldn't just present things in a realistic way. And like the pop artists, he uses images that are popular in today's culture. He moved to Miami in 1988, and that is when his artistic career took off. He painted on everything. He painted on cars, on motorcycles. He created sculptures for buildings. He painted on Coca-Cola bottles. He created sculptures for the Super Bowl, World Cup soccer balls, for celebrities, for royalties, even for Disney. His artwork has become so popular, you can find it on flip-flops, socks, coffee cups, luggage, purses, you name it, you can find Romero Brito's artwork just about anywhere and everywhere. Now that you've learned about Romero Brito, let's make some art inspired by him. On this page, I have some of Romero Brito's paintings, and on this page, I have some of his most popular patterns. You can see that Romero Brito really kept his patterns simple and big and bold, and he would repeat his patterns. First, I want you to choose a painting. You can choose one from this paper, or you can choose your own design. Remember to keep it simple and to draw large. I am going to do today this heart. If you are a teacher, a good idea would be to have some stencils cut out of some of the more popular Romero Brito shapes so that your students can trace the stencil if they like. I'm going to start with my main object which is the heart right in the center so i am going to press dark just so that it shows up on the video but remember always draw light until you get it right one of the things that romero brito would do is he would draw lines through his objects and sometimes behind his objects so that's one thing that you're definitely going to want to consider And now that we've drawn the main parts of the picture, you can choose to use the same patterns you see here, or you can use different patterns from this sheet. And I will make sure to leave these at the end of the video. Romero Brito was definitely a fan of polka dots, stripes, flowers, and hearts. For coloring, you can do just about any material, but you definitely want to make sure the colors are bright and vibrant. That is one of the things that really sets Romero Brito apart. So I am going to use markers, and I really, really love highlighters because they come out really nice and bright. And the trick to using markers is to always start with the lightest color first. Lightest color is yellow that I would like to use. So I am going to decide what's going to be yellow and I'm going to begin coloring those sections first. One trick when coloring with markers that I like to do is not only to start with the lightest color first, but for example, if I want this to be orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, a pattern, which Romero Brito would do, I like to outline with my marker the area that I'm going to color, and then I color inside of it. So I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna outline with my marker this stripe, and then I'm going to color inside of it. And I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm going to go around my picture, and anything I want yellow, I am going to do first. As you can see in this section, I want the background to be yellow. So again, I outlined the area around the shapes and now I'm going to fill it in with the marker. And don't worry if you get out of the lines a little bit because at the end we trace it with our big, bold, black Sharpie marker.
the next color I'm gonna use is orange. That's the next lightest color. And I wanna show you one more trick. So the first trick was to start with the lightest color first. The second trick was to outline the area you're going to color, like I'm doing here. I'm gonna color the inside of this area and I'm going to color it with orange. Here is the third trick. The third trick is when you're coloring with markers to always color in the same direction. So I am going to start down here at the bottom and I'm going to color up and down. And I am going to color almost like as if I was doing stripes. So as you can see, I'm coloring right next to the lines, filling in all the gaps and coloring it nice and neat. What you don't want to do is color like this and then like this and then like this. That's gonna give you a very messy artwork and it's gonna leave a lot of white spaces. So instead, as you can see, I'm just coloring from the top and working my way down. Now that you have used all your colors, now you can trace with black. I would definitely use a permanent marker because if you do not use a permanent marker when you go to trace over your colors, they might bleed into one another and you don't wanna do that after you've put such hard work into it. So take your time, make sure you go over the line. There could be a thick side and a thin side. Romero Brito tended to have thick black outlines. So nice and slowly retrace your drawing.